the Avengers. That's what we call ourselves. Earth's mightiest heroes. I have an army. We have a Hulk. <laughs> back to the comics lounge it's lounger chris real quick um gonna talk about a slab reveal today and kind of let you guys know what i get got for grades um and i'm gonna be seeing them for the first time too so i am very excited next book is a book that i sent off to cgc so, Flash 750, another very beautiful cover. It is the Boss Logic Variant C. Um, we're actually going to do a video on this and the other one I got back. Um, from what I know, both of them are supposed to be coming back at the same grade, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, you never truly know. So again, I'll just give you a quick look at this cover. Beautiful reverse flash cover. Even the back of this is phenomenal. So again, not looking so that way I don't see what's on the back. I'm going to cover it up before I turn it back to me. All right. Planet Awesome, don't let me down. All right, go ahead and take a look, everyone. Please be a 9.8. Oh, thank God, yes. Whew. So that means that other one is most likely a 9.82, which makes me really excited. Um, so this book's about 150 bucks. Um, last I checked, it's a beautiful book in beautiful shape. Um, reverse Flash. Uh... It's, so it's a virgin cover, Boss Logic, Planet Awesome Collectibles. I'm a huge fan of virgin covers because of the artwork. Um, they typically sell for a lot more. And I'll take it out of here so you guys can truly see what it looks like. I know there's kind of a glare, and I'm sorry, but that's one of those issues with CGC. Um, but again, beautiful, beautiful book on display so then we're going to be actually be comparing in a video coming up so I wanted to get the same book twice to do this video and I'm very happy that this came back at a 9.8 um, and if the other one came back at a 9.82 well 9.8 as well not 9.82 um that's just going to be really awesome, is then it's going to be a true comparison um, of CGC and. Wait till you see this. Let's see. I promise I'm not peeking. It's much harder to do on these ones. Okay, I believe I'm covering it. Yep. All right. I want to make sure that I'm covering it because I don't want to cheat. I don't want to get blamed for cheating. I'm pulling them out of this brown paper bag over here. <laughs> All right. So, obviously this is not a CGC. This, instead, is a CBCS slab. These, this is one of their new slabs. Um, very well constructed. Definitely makes CGC kind of shake in their boots, I would say. I honestly, just at first glance, I'm kind of liking the way that this CBCS slab is built around the edges. And I'm talking like right here, it looks a lot more... Um, sturdy than that CGC so I'll back up a little bit so I can show you I'm not peeking did it come back the same grade yes alright so another 9.8 and again 
I'm going to do a video that compares these slabs. i um, very excited to have a CBCS slab, especially the new one, in my collection. Um, honestly, truly one of the nicest covers I've ever seen with the Flash book. I'm a huge Flash, even reverse Flash fan. And again, look at the back of that. So I can show you a little bit more now of what I'm talking about with this. Just, it looks much more sturdy, especially around these corners. You can see, you can kind of see the ridge right here. That kind of makes it look much more sleek. Very nice. Again, I'm going to get into this much more in depth in another video um, that will be coming out to the channel very, very soon. But there's still one more slab left. And this is another CBCS. And I'm actually, now that I'm seeing the CBCS slab, I'm actually very excited that I put it in a CBCS slab instead of a CGC. Because this book is one that I'm probably going to hang on to for quite some time. This is one that I'm a huge fan of. Again, I'm not peeking, I promise. I'm grabbing it out. Okay, you ready? Here it is. Isn't that an awesome cover, right? Beautiful, wonderful. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to peek. I'm going to put it behind my back and redo that. It's the Scott variant. I'm so excited. This is just absolutely amazing. Um, this book, I almost bought it CGC, but I wasn't sure when I bought it if I was going to. Um, let's see if I'm glad that I did. <laughs> let's just put it that way. So again, this is another CBCS slab. And no, I'm not looking. Let's find out what it is. How happy am I going to be? So, not only is this null with the Infinity Gauntlet, which, with King and Black coming, oh my god. And not only is this a Scon cover with a story by Donny Cates, two of my favorites right now, but it's a 9.8, the first full appearance of Codex, the first appearance of Anne Ewing as Agent Venom, Virus and Dylan Brock appearances. And I just, I, you don't even know how excited I am right now. We're, like, I'm trying to find the words to say how happy I am right now. And this is just amazing. I love that this came back in 9.8. I honestly thought about selling this. Um, if it came back into 9.8, I don't know that I can. I I think this needs to stay in my collection for a little bit more. It, let me know what you guys think. I, I Personally, I'm a huge Venom fan. I'm a huge Null fan. Um, this is... This is as big for me as having Venom 3 in my collection. That's how much I love this cover. Not that, that not that this book is as big, but having a 9.8 Venom book in my collection, the only one that I would rather have right now is Venom 3. And truly, I mean, I just, this is amazing. I, I was not expecting this at all. So... It, comic Mint 
hats off to you guys because that speaks volumes to you. Um, so this book I bought and it came in um, right on time. Um, so that was huge. I'm going to take this out of here real quick. Let me to a little bit better lighting so you guys can see this just a touch better. Um, so anyways, this book I got literally straight from Comic Mint. As soon as it came in, I brought it to Chet at Rhino's Comics, and I said I'm sending this off to CGC. So our first lab is over here. Sorry, I had to grab it out of the box. And this slab is Ruins of Ravencroft. I'll give you a look at that cover real quick um, before I reveal it. So I'm putting my hand over on this side so that way I don't see it written on the back at all. Okay. So let's take a look. Let me know what you think. I'm going to look away over here. The last one I had of these came back at a 9.6. So hopefully this one is not coming back at a 9.6. Well, it is what it is. Um, I actually have two other copies of the non-variant. This one is probably going to go on my collection. Um, I love this variant cover. It's a great book. Um, first appearance book. Um, very first appearance of Cortland Cassidy. So, if you don't know who that is, he is um, from the 1600s. Uh, first host of Car... Or no. I need to go back and look that up. Can't remember off the top of my head right now. Having a brain fart. <laughs> because I have more books over here that I'm much more excited about than this one. But this is just one that I wanted to have in my collection. So I'm going to put this over up here. So this just speaks volumes to Comic Men's ability to ship this out and keep it in a 9.8 condition, which shipping comics sucks, I know, because that's literally what I'm preparing to do over here with a bunch of your books, guys. Um, shout out to Tricky Trapster, Cat 60 Designs, Laszlo Foundation, Red Dead Hulk, Shout out to all of you guys because truly um, shipping comics is not fun. So I totally understand the ability for a comic to come to you, stay a 9.8 through that whole shipping process and for it to not be shipped from like a giant manufacturer either. So like Diamond or not manufacturer distributor <laughs> um that speaks volumes to their attention to detail their shipping methods so comic mint thank you very much um huge shout out to you guys and honestly guys i what kind of does suck um these both of the ruins that i've gotten back have come back at 9.6s i would love to know why but obviously at a 9.6, they don't send graders notes. Um, but I bought both of these off of Amazon. So that, if that says anything, I don't know what it says. But what I'm saying is trust in those who are going to take good care of your books. And that's what we're all about here at the Comics Lounge. So with all of that being said, I hope you had a wonderful um, Thanksgiving. I hope you had a wonderful Black Friday. I hope that you enjoyed Black Saturday Con on Instagram with Bin City and all of those guys and gals who participated. And from all of us here at the Comics Lounge, keep it casual, my friends.